my soul is at rest. Right underneath here, on the inside. Like I you also gotta grow the hell up. Yo, yo, good morning. You can see the mishap that I did when I was trying to fix my paint. It's, it's gonna be fixed today. The painters are gonna be here early. They've been here two days, just short stints because I didn't have time, but they've gotten a lot done. I have not made my bed yet, but I wanna just show you. You can just tell the difference. Do you see that? This is the white. I'm using Sherwin-Williams Extra White. And then that's the existing color, which is this yellow that I've always hated, but couldn't even fathom the idea of a full house painting session. But here we are now and I'm glad it is, it's fine. It's just, it's getting done. So can you just see the difference in this wall versus that wall? Oh my gosh. Now I don't have to be wrestling with my friggin' edits when I'm editing my videos. It's just serious. I mean, look at how much brighter it is in here. I don't need to color correct my yellow walls anymore. This is huge. I am so happy. I'm so happy. I'm sick. So yeah, they'll be here soon to finish. It's going to be a long day. Time's been moving slowly, so we are ready. you did well because of what I don't want is to be wrestling with no sinking duvet oh this is great what it has a zipper just like a pillowcase oh I love it I love it no my place is your place let's face it baby you know all the places places my place is your place my place Estimated how. Oh no! Oh, I just bent my nail. Oh my god! I just bent my nail a little bit. That was so annoying. The builder gel definitely does make this stuff a lot thicker, less bendable. It is a little bit bendable. They underestimated how long it would take to do this painting, y'all. And I want to you. I'm actually glad because it's taking so long. Look at this trash. Oh my gosh. It's taking so long that mm -mm, I'm not even gonna pay you extra. Motion detected at front door. We're gonna stay right where we right where we were quoted. Okay, right where we were quoted. If you have textured walls, I've got textured walls. It looks like there's stuff on it. You feel me? It's not just smooth. Apparently, it just it, it takes more paint to get it on, and I do believe that. So the five gallon tubs that we estimated, he estimated that it would take two of those tubs, buckets. We've needed five of those. Can you imagine? And one tub is $200. This is crazy. This is crazy. But I'm so happy at how much brighter it looks in here. I have not color corrected this, color graded this at all. And just look at my walls. I mean, oh my gosh. I used to have to do, it was so irritating filming in here. I'm so pleased. I'm just glad. Uh, I... I'm glad. Today I feel accomplished. I got up at 5 a.m. and I did my nails because they needed to be done. This is a new set. I've never done stiletto nails in my life. I like these. They're, they take some getting used to because they're freaking sharp. You feel me? I love it. It's my BT, BT Art Box usuals and I did the base coat and the top coat. So I love it. 
link in all this below in case you want it. Oh, and this is a two piece that I shared on, it has the handsies that I shared on IG some time ago. It's a crop top situation with a skirt. I have it in black and I have it in pink. I love it. And we're in this today. Hey, I got up early. I had content I had to film and I wanted to look nice while I filmed it. It didn't require makeup, but I wanted to put on makeup. You know, I like to do things. I'm, 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 I'm going quickly right now. I like to do things as best as I can. I don't like to halfway do stuff. You feel me? Half step it. I, don't, I, I really don't like to do that. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do makeup and get ready. And I had all this on before carpool. Can you imagine? I had all this on before carpool. And he was like, mommy, why do you have that on? I'm like, have what on? Clothing? <laughs> but what he's trying to say is, I normally don't look this way to go to carpool. Because, <laughs> I mean, you know, I've just been lounging around the past few days. They've been painting because I've just been here, just doing what I can around and about. And I didn't, I didn't do makeup. I didn't get dressed. I just was whatever. And today I'm like, I have work to do and I want to I want to get dressed up I just wanted to you know you just feel like maybe you don't feel that way I do sometimes I'm like no I need to get myself dressed up today like enough is enough so I did that and I feel good so I filmed the content submitted the content and now I'm here because nothing is pressing per se but there's always work to be done oh by the way no update about the accountant no update about that and we'll see I mean I We'll see. So there's that. But yeah, nothing is pressing per se, even looking at my iPad. I mean, I do need to, I need to go to CVS and get a prescription. I do have content that's due in the future that I, I already started filming. I don't need to edit it. It's actually not complete. I still need to add stuff. What I'll do is get, I'll get B-roll as time progresses. If I have time to create content and then I put it in a folder on my hard drive and then I, I just, Go at it when I'm when I'm ready to go at it. Have I showed you this here? Because I know I showed it on on LTK and TikTok and maybe IG stories. But this is my laptop that I use, and then this is my hard drive right here. This small thing, okay. Hold. It's this small thing right here, and this sleeve I just stuck onto this case. So here we have it, and this is a oh. I thought I had one terabyte. I stand corrected. This is four terabytes. I just didn't realize. Okay, it's called Cruiser. I'll link it below if you want it. This is the hard drive. It's so tiny, which is great because my other one is lightweight. That one was huge. And I just slide it in here, the sleeve, and I keep it plugged in because that's where I have all of my content. You know, I used to use my desktop to edit back in the day. But I stopped doing that because if I wasn't sitting down at my desk, then I would not be editing my content. And then my content would be backed up. It was ridiculous, especially vlogs. Whereas now, I can be anywhere. at the, I can be at the coffee shop, on the airplane, in the lounge, at a friend's house. And I could be editing content, which is stupendous for me, instead of being trapped at my desktop to do that. So my desktop barely gets any action. But it's good to have because I use it from time to time. I mean, it's a backup too. Whatever. Okay. So, yo, the days... Remember back in the day when you could download Final Cut Pro off of YouTube? Remember that? I used that version of Final Cut Pro for years and it worked until Final Cut Pro upgraded their software and I could not upgrade because if I upgraded, I would have to pay. So I was stuck with the old version of Final Cut Pro. I used that free bootleg version for years. And then finally I was like, let me just buy it. It's $200 or whatever, how much it costs. And then you can use it on multiple, multiple, multiple devices. So I say all that because Originally, when I had a work lap, when I had a laptop, I didn't have Final Cut on it. I only had it on that desktop. We're good. Oh, well, hey, we, we got to get by sometimes how we got to get by, okay? We got to get by how we got to get by. So, yeah, I love it because no matter how you're holding this in your bag, what have you, this is not going to fall out. It's just so good. It's that good. Uh, so, I'm, I'm just pleased with that. And I have my iPad here. And, yeah, Fashion Week was fantastic. I look forward to September. I just turned the AC on and now it's too cold in here. <laughs> now it's just too freaking cold in here for me. I should have let the guy cut the grass last week. I told him I wasn't ready, but it's definitely giving. It needs to be cut. Isn't that annoying? It's going to be 80 all week today. And I'm like, yo, that is nice weather. And I got on this cute pink two piece. You can't tell me nothing. I miss the days where the mail came to my door. Back in Rhode Island, the mailbox was on the outside of the door. Whereas here, you have to drive over or walk to the mailbox. I actually loathe that. I just want it to be delivered to me. Some stuff gets delivered to me, some stuff, some stuff goes to the mailbox, and then I'll get a note sometimes from the postal worker. 
you need to check your mailbox more often. And now I've brought all your mail, all your mail to the post office. And then I have to drive to the post office to go get all of you. I've had to do that twice. And believe me, I learned my lesson. Thank you so much for teaching me a hard lesson. I learned it. <laughs> so I see all that because I do need to go check, check my mail. But one of the things that just, and I'm glad it's almost done, that aches me about the home projects of any sort is when stuff is in disarray. I don't like it. So I'm not going over there to the hallway because I don't want to even look at the disarrayness. That's not a word. I don't want to look at the disarray. That's not, that's not how you say it. I don't want to look at all of the disorganization because it troubles me. When stuff is nice and neat and organized, my heart, my soul is at rest. You feel me? It's not at rest looking at how it's looking, but it's almost done. Praise God. It is almost done. Oof. And now I have the exact paint so I can do my touch-ups. And we can find somewhere to sit down. But everything looks so clean and bright and good. Next is, do I know how to ask for help in a way that is complimentary to another person rather than diminishing or insulting? So if the only way we know how to ask for help is to criticize another person mm. for what they're not doing for us, oh God. it's likely that they're not feeling very good when we're coming to them to ask for things. Mm. And we might actually be pushing them away. This is good morning, by the way. <clears throat> I'm about to get ready. I would have liked to film a YouTube video, but I don't have time. So I'm going to chat with you while I get ready. This is Heidi Preeb. I found her. I don't know where or how I found her, but she's on YouTube. She's a psychologist, I believe. I don't know the differences. She's talking that talk right now. You know how, and I've done it before. I don't employ that tactic any longer because it's very juvenile, but you know better, you do better. <laughs> Why is that making me stumble? You know better, you do better. Cause I want to use my accent. Uh, and I learned that it is juvenile and that I should stop it. What I mean is this, when you want to communicate something to somebody and instead of saying, Hey, I would really love it if we talked more, right? That's a vulnerable way to tell someone what I just said, which is I would love it if we talked more. But what we tend to do when we are insecure and immature is we'll say, Oh, okay, I see you don't call me no more. Oh, I can't. Your phone don't work. You feel me? And it, I, I stop those things. I stop those things. I, when you know better, you do better. And you also got to grow the hell up. Look at this mirror in front of me. This is from what? Is this Kiss? Oh, it's all dirty. Oh, makeup. It is Kiss. Koki. Hey, excuse me. Koki. Mm. It has a light. Oh, look at that. 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 Yeah. So anyway, I have this here. I'm about to get ready. I have to go bring the knee to an appointment. And oh, these brushes are dirty, but we're gonna just use them. It's just my face. God almighty, it's just my face, you know. Here's my drink. Oh my gosh, this little desk is too full. I had this here because I was filming and the mirror, I needed it, I needed a mirror to be at eye level, but now it just it's too it's too in my face, and I feel like it's covering you. Okay, I just moved it. Yeah. <clears throat> This this setup right here is a little perplexing because I feel like it's too warm. Then again, the paint, can you tell? The paint is, the paint has made this house so much brighter, which I love. So perhaps, I don't know, I don't know. I, maybe it was the yellow. Girl, the lighting be different whether I'm in the bathroom or I'm in here. That's essentially what I'm getting across. But the lighting be looking real different. Let me plug my, I'm going to put my phone on the flip clock so I can see the time so i can stay on track and not be off track i gotta get i gotta get out of here you feel me and this i left my hair wraps on so okay okay because i have the flip clock on i'm going to charge the phone because when the flip clock is on the phone is on and i don't want my battery all dead hello okay so i can see my time which is 11 36. Yeah, I left this on too long. What will happen is it gets stuck on my hair, which I don't be liking. But let's take this off. The contractors took way longer than they expected to do, but I won't even lie. In my head, I'm like, I'm actually glad that you quoted me beforehand and not at what? And you didn't go by hourly because, excuse me? Uh-uh. That ain't what we doing. That ain't not what we doing. It took three days total. Two days were five and five. Five hours, five hours. So three days total, and it was giving 10 hours, 12 hours, 10 hours, something like that. 
Mm -mm. I'm not about no 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 mm -mm. that ain't my problem you should have quoted it in the beginning he didn't know <laughs> he didn't know I didn't know this part be looking it be having it be ashy from the oh my god to be that's why I did that uh uh I'm glad you underquoted me because excuse me that was that was a huge job and what I was saying to you before was this texture do you see do you see the texture in the wall it's not it's not smooth so apparently that meant more I gotta move that stuff. Apparently that meant more paint and it took longer. Girl, oh my god. Five, what? Four tubs of paint and each tub was five gallons. Just a just a just a pricey gig, okay? But I'm glad. I'm glad that the, the I'm glad that the walls are lighter. It makes a huge difference in here. Okay. I'm going to start off with my color wow because you know I like to do that, you feel me? And we gotta get these edges together, hi. Um, yo, did I tell you? Oh my gosh. So, I mean, I, it's, it's uncomfortable to do something without putting down a paper towel. Yo, so a minute ago, maybe a month ago, I filmed a portion where I was showing y'all that I dyed my hair black. And then one day I'm like, I'm going to mention my hair. And I was like, wait, but did I tell them yet? And I do not know what happened to that footage because I don't remember telling you. I'm sure I didn't tell you. I know I told you, but I don't remember ever editing that part. And then I went back to look for it and I couldn't find it. Anyhow, okay, so I'm putting this in my edges because they're thin. They're faint. It just is what it is. I wouldn't be shocked if it was stress. It could be because of my buns. It could be because of how I lay on the bed. Girl, I don't know. But I fill this in and I keep it pushing. You feel me? So anyhow, I ended up dyeing my hair a month ago because I wanted a change, number one. I was tired of the white hair. And I also remembered when I was relaxed, how having my hair black made me made me feel like my hair looked shinier. I remember that. Like she's, so you can see some new growth, some, well, maybe it's not even new growth. It's just some fading of, maybe it's a fading of the dye, I don't know, but anyhow. Yeah, I remember it just looked shinier. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and dye, ooh, ooh, dye his hair black. It also was preempted by the natural, the kinky straight wig, the kinky straight U part wig that I have. It was black. And I remember when I put it on, I was like, dang it, my hair is colored too. I can just, I can see the difference. So all of that culminated into, I'm gonna just dye my hair. And when I, okay, I dyed it before the girls came. I dyed it before the, the Valentine's Day uh, vacation. Because I remember in that video, I was like, oh man, my hair looks so black. It To me, it was so obvious. Anyhow, I dyed my hair maybe a month ago and I love it. I love my hair being black. It just, it makes me, it stands out. There's a wig that y'all love that I got during COVID times that I cut, the one I cut here on the vlog. Y'all love that wig and it is black. I mean, it is jet black. And every time I would put it on, I felt like something just looked so different about me. What it is, is the black hair just looks, it's so pronounced. And it, again, it reminds me when I was relaxed and I would go to the hair salon and she would give me a black rinse. Was it a rinse or was it a dye? I mean, it was a rinse. And she would do that and it just looked so different. So anyway, I dyed my hair and I can see the difference and I've been enjoying it. So that's what that is right there. So we fill in the color wow, we fill in the edges with the color wow like so, you feel me? And you can soften it if it's giving hairline, <laughs> line up. You know what I'm saying? You soften it like that. Let me get my paper towel and then we're gonna go from there. <laughs> Look at the accent, I can't even do it. Okay, my cleaning company was supposed to come. I always need to roll my sleeves up because I don't know. Not that it's gonna, is it gonna touch anything? I just, <laughs> having sleeves on while doing makeup is like, <laughs> to me. My cleaning company was supposed to come today and I messaged like, hey, I had this on my calendar. <laughs> What's the problem? And anyways, there was a mishap and we were scheduled. So that's that. Oh, let me talk to you about Strawberry Letter from Flutter. This smells good. It reminds me of the, the Kayali apple. Is it cherry? What is it called? It, it smells like apple. It reminds me of that. It's so good. Listen, and I also have the Bath and Body Works Almond Coconut plug-in going on right now. Mm -mm. Jai, listen, I will spray on 17 different fragrances in one day. Because if I look at it and I'm feeling in that mood, I'm going to just spray it on. <laughs> and it's just going to be a whole mosh posh. It's going to be a whole Oshkosh bagage. You feel me? Oop, y'all be, be shopping at Oshkosh bagage for the kids. I can't do it. Okay. All right. So these are all dirty brushes. I used them one time last week. We're going to go back and use them again. 
and it's a combination compilation ooh, ooh, not combination it's a compilation and it includes some lys brushes that the girls i'm saying the girls i only met two of them but that the girls sent <clears throat> the girl me oh not be choking on flirt here's a lot look i gotta move on this is too much too many shenanigans okay uh let's see oh lip primer oh that wasn't <laughs> gotta have a gotta have a garbage i don't know about you gotta have a garbage because i be having things to throw away you feel me so yes we're gonna start off with <laughs> get your get your makeup and let's do it together we're gonna do a lip primer because that's important <laughs> whenever i say that do y'all laugh because that's important i just it's, it's very important you know what I mean? it is indeed importante Look at Nini's painting, the green. I gotta move that from there. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. We got that going. And uh, yeah, I gotta roll my sleeves. It just, because what would turn me off is if I accidentally touched concealer, because I do use my hand as a swatch. So yeah, let me just pull it. All right, we're gonna do the Gucci. I moved it over here. I gotta be moving things around. Yes, uh, I'll be using the same thing at all times. So, I, what's his name? Not you flying up. I cannot. See? This is why I really be putting it on the back of the hand. And I just spray perfume on the back of my hand too. Can you imagine? The Gucci's almost done? Stop. Ooh. That's how much I love this thing. I need a refill. Ooh. 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 540N is my shade. I love this. Okay. Now, the trick to using dirty brushes, well, because I also have a lot of brushes, I have to remember which brush I used where. <laughs> Because, like, what? Look at the coverage of that. Yeah, you gotta remember which brush you used where. And that's, uh, you're gonna put a blush brush on your face to do your foundation. It don't work. Oh, I just took too much. Yo, I took too much. Because I switch between different foundations, I don't always remember what the coverage is like on a given foundation. This is really full coverage. I haven't used it in some time. So I forgot. Oh, oh, I took too Hey, Jesus. Can I put some of this back? Not all of these open up. Ooh, this don't open. Dang, homie. Nice school. You was main, homie. Oh, no. I hate that. I'm going to have to throw this away. I got to be going close. I be feeling like I can't see. I don't always use this mirror. So, <clears throat> I be a little... I got to bring this close to me. Okay, let me put this back. Oh! Yo, they be mad Amber Alerts. Bless God. Hi, am. Uh -oh. Yo, he's to be having mad Amber Alerts. Bless the name of the Lord. Let's go here. Nah, the lighting be messing me up. Okay. We not gonna add more lighting. Okay. So, yeah. What was I saying? Ooh, ooh, my neck is ashy. Oh, key, gel, and key. So I have eczema, so I be having to reapply something on my neck throughout the day because what? And this was the Vaseline Cocoa Shimmering Cocoa Balm Stick. No, I don't need the shimmer on my neck. I just need something, and that's what I have next to me. So that's what I use. We gonna shimmer a little bit, and that's okay. Okay yeah so yes this is given a whole lot of full coverage in the best way <laughs> yes it's darker than my skin tone but if you know you know okay i k y i k y if you wait i y k i y k i y k i y k i y k k hi yo not the sun coming this is also why i moved my studio to well, then again, I be having issues too because of the sun, but <clears throat> this one was worse because of the way the sun rises and sets right over here. So that's why I don't use this area as my set studio like I used to. It, it just be too much. You be in the middle of a video and even if I close the blinds the whole night, it's just a problem. Now, yes, I could put blackout curtains in here, but then, yo, my issue with curtains is all of the product, you know, when you dust off the excess of your product, Think about it. Where do you think that excess is going? It's flying in the air, and then it's gonna land somewhere. It's gotta go somewhere. You feel me? It ain't gonna just stay in the in the air. If it stays in the air, you be walking into clouds of eyeshadow, <laughs> clouds of setting powder. Ooh, this shade is dark. <laughs> you feel me? It gotta go somewhere. So yeah, let's turn this up. Is this really bright? Okay. It gotta go somewhere. So then I would find stuff just in random places. Stuff meaning 
powder just dusted everywhere it's not gonna work for me it's just not gonna work for me so that's why the i'm like oh if i have curtains like excuse me makeup forever hd concealer the shade is 53 this is so creamy and i'm gonna have to lighten this some more not have to but i'm gonna choose to lighten this some more yo this lighting outside is acting up i wonder if this is too light making me look crazy but let's see what Heidi Pro talking about. She's almost done. Oh, that's what I was gonna come on here and say a while ago. Oh, excuse me. That's what it was. Oh no, we did talk about that. We did, we did. Okay. Going to someone and telling them that you really appreciate, let's say, their perspectives on a given issue and would like to know what they think of your problem is a very pro-social way of asking for help. You're making the other person feel valued and important as you're getting your own need met. Once again, going in with the assumption that our needs are unimportant and that we're inconveniencing people by asking for help puts us on the automatic defense when we go into situations that we really need help with. Going into situations with the idea in our minds that other people might be quite willing to give us help allows us to approach it in a totally different energy. And this, once again, is a skill that must... Yo, I like I told you in a different video, love watching and listening to these psychologic psychology talks because not only do I want to understand myself, yeah, this is not light enough at all. I want to understand other people. Now, I did say to myself the other day, good lord, man. It be having me have to think so much about everyone with whom I interact because I be wanting to make sure that I understand even things that are not said. For instance, she's now talking about people who are, have low self-esteem. And one of their blind spots is because they are constantly critiquing themselves, they then think, they then think that other people are critical of them. So if you are in relationship of any kind with someone that has little self-esteem, when I say any kind, it could be a boss, a sister, a husband, a who knows what. And if they have low self-esteem, it's possible that they could be perceiving you as someone who is highly critical of them when you're not. And or she said, there could be an instance where for you, if you're a secure person, which I am, you don't find it difficult to ask for what you need. Meaning, hey, I would love for us to talk more. Or, hey, I would love for us to cuddle more. Or, hey, I would love for us to go on weekly, whatever. You just don't have a problem saying what you need. And she said one of the blind spots with people who have low self-esteem is they're not going to say it. What they're going to do is leave hints. Can you imagine? They're going to leave hints that they are hoping you will pick up on. And then when you don't, they get angry and possibly aggressive. So it could be passive aggression, you know, the slick comments. It could be maybe just ignoring you. Who knows? And I'm like, oh my goodness. I mean, it, I, I listen to these things because one, I want to know myself. I want to put words to things that I'm thinking, but I also want to understand other people. And when she said that, I said, good God almighty. And I started thinking about all the people with whom I am in relation. And I'm thinking, hmm, does this fit someone? Does that fit someone? Because it gives me more information when dealing with said person. I just, it, I just love to have information. I love to learn. I love to know what I'm on. And I'm, I'm baffled because I'm like, yo, that's crazy. Because you can have someone in your life that perhaps you are banging your head against the wall thinking, why is this person like this? Why is it so difficult? Why is it always an issue? And perhaps that person has low self-esteem and then they're projecting their low self-esteem onto you and that is what is causing the issue. This is a perhaps, right? It's just It just made me think like, whoa, whoa. Granted, I don't have anyone that I can pinpoint who behaves like that, but again, having more information is important because then if it ever comes up, then I can be like, yo, I wonder if this is what it is. And I am the kind of person, if that relationship matters to me, I'm gonna call it out. I'm gonna call it out. Hey, I'm noticing X, Y, and Z. I'd love to talk about it. Is now a good time? <laughs> And then we're going to get into the conversation. Hey, boo. So I'm just seeing this and this and this because I no longer fall right into offense. I really will stop and be like, hmm, I wonder if I have any role in this. Like, where is this coming from? And let me, I, for me, I'm going to investigate. I'm going to investigate as opposed to just jump into, oh, yeah, and this and this. Girl, I'm way too grown 
to just be jumping to conclusions. You feel me? I'm going to investigate. Hey, I'm hearing this. Or, hey, I saw, I noticed this. Tell me some more about that because I want to make sure that I'm understanding this interaction relationship situation correctly because we can all go off the deep end with assumptions. And I am too grown and have come, ooh, ooh, and I've come too far and I've evolved too much to live my life in the realm of assumptions. So I just confront, you feel me? Hey, let's talk about this because I'm feeling like this and I want to make sure that I'm not I'm not misunderstanding something. And if I am, I want to clarify because this, this relationship is meaningful to me. How powerful is that? Ooh, something like that? And how many people are doing that? How many people are wise enough, evolved enough, introspective enough to do that? You got to ask yourself, and are you that kind of person? Because I really do hope that you become that kind of person because there's a freedom in that. There's a freedom in not taking everything someone does personally. Yo, a lot of times people just in their own heads like she's talking about. If that person has low self-esteem, they're projecting. So it ain't got anything to do with you. It ain't got anything. You look at it and say, it ain't got nothing. <laughs> it ain't got nothing to do with you. That person is in their own head every single minute of the day. And it has nothing to do with you. So I really just, like if I, if I reach out to someone in any way, via social, phone, what have you, and I don't get a response back, I don't immediately go, oh, she's ignoring me, he's ignoring me, whatever the case, excuse me, they may be overwhelmed. They may have read the message and thought they responded and didn't. They may be waiting to gather more information before responding. Perhaps the question I posed needs further investigation and they're waiting to do that. Granted, I would prefer that you say, hey, I saw this, let me get back to you. But I also recognize that there have been a minimal, a minimal amount of times where I too have been like, I look at the preview of the message and I'm like, I can't get to this now. I'll get to this later. And then somehow, some way it goes unread. And then I'm looking at my messages and I'm like, wait a minute, when did I ever open this up? How did this get opened? So I I have been there too, you know? So I just, I really, I really, it, it's healthier. Oh, wrong brush. Wait, this is the right brush. Wrong brush. It's just healthier for me and my heart and my soul to do that, do the best. <laughs> no, in some cases, people don't deserve that benefit of the doubt, okay? I'll call it what it is. But it just is healthier for my mind and my soul. This lighting in here is so challenging because it's so bright that it's hard to see. Like, does this look good? Does it look crazy? Oh, if I turn this off, I really can't see what's going on. I, I really do work on giving people the benefit of the doubt because I, one, don't have time. Two, don't like to jump to insecurity. And three, I just... I've always told y'all, people don't owe me anything. Nobody owes me a thing, Okay. I don't even think kids owe their parents anything. You do things because you want to. You do things because you feel the tug at your heart to do so, not because you have to, okay? Nothing is by force. That's just the way that I think, and that's the way that I live. And of course, I go forward and get some Cinema Secrets brush cleaner to clean out some of the smaller brushes because I need to use those. I don't want to make extra brushes dirty. I'm going to get a small one to put the powder under my eye, the, directly under my eye. This is Lawless Perfecting Talc free skin smoothing powder in the shade TND. And I want a cleaner brush to apply this right into my eye. I don't think anybody owes us anything. We should do things out of the out of out of joy. It's like when you're given to the church. Don't give out a compulsion. Give it because you want to and if you don't keep your money. Okay. God don't want that. Mm -mm. Don't do things to me and then be gritting your teeth and be all pissed off. Madame please don't even do it. Don't even do it. I don't want it. Mm mm all that anger behind whatever you've done, please take it back. You can take all of it back right now. Take it back yesterday, in fact. Okay, so right here. And then I'm gonna set it with the luminous powder in a second. Ooh, why am I still, I'm all, I'm all still, I'm still flexing my eyes when I don't even need to. What in the world? Okay, see how that just cleaned this brush so quickly. So that's one clean brush. And then we gonna take this, uh-oh. Oh, what did I use for 
Okay, this is the brush I use. Sephora 79 brush. I know I used this. I can just talk about the shape because that's what I would use. I know also too, based on looking at it, what I would do right now is likely what I did when I used it. So I would use this under here. It's not the same shape as the shape that I love in my bathroom, but this will work. See, just get it right under here. And we're setting it. It is highlighted and set. Highlight? No, it is highlighted. <laughs> oh, I'm taking too much. This lighting in here is different than what I'm used to, so it's just a little bit difficult thing. It's a little bit difficult. Wow. Okay. We learned, but the more we work on developing it, the more we're able to get at these really deep mutual connections where help is readily offered and received. All right, for eyes, I'm going to use this NYX Ultimate Queen Shadow Palette. I've never used it before, but I like the colors. I'm going to do a combo of these two in the crease. And maybe I know I just doing a plum plumber brown is just my clutch I'm taking these two and let's see what this look like in the crease I can actually put this all over my lid but I do like for the lid to be darker than the crease because it creates some dimension hold on i can barely see my blush i used an ly lys blush i don't know i think it's the lighting this lighting is also really harsh it's not the best i don't this is cute to have but this is not the best lighting maybe it's the fact that it's in the corner I used to do my videos sitting at my desk right here and then I had a natural lighting. Perhaps I should go sit over there. I don't know. But there was a point of having this desk and then this this light right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Annoying. All right, this is the 27 brush that I used for my nose contour and it's fine to put it under here because I want this place to be dark anyway. All right, I'm gonna do the dark purple in here on my lid. Ooh, this is dark. This is a random brush that I had from, what was that? Boxy Charm. yep, Boxy Charm years ago. I used to get the monthly subscription. What was it, five to seven, five, what? Something, full size products. And I used to get that, this brush is from there. I don't even know if this brand still exists, but it's called Moda Pro. Yeah, so it's giving purple smoky eye right now. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty liner. This is a shade True Brown. Is that the name? Oh, this is an eyeliner. <laughs> I mean, I could put it on my lips. I've done that. Screw it, I'm gonna do it. It's an eyeliner, but it's going on my lips. Ooh, see, every time I get to my lips, what am I reminded of? If you've been here for a while, then you already know. I'm reminded that I did not do my highlighter. Milk Cosmetics, the shade is lit. Ooh, I'm with a okay. The brow here, just right on my nose, right here is where I can always tell it's not there. It makes such a difference. I love it. I need it. Listen, I am trusting that because I did what I normally do, just with different products, that my face does not look crazy. But sitting in front of this lighting is not helpful. It's harsh. This lighting is harsh. My face is breaking out. And I did my treatment last night. I need to shave again. Yeah, so feel free to use your eyeliner on your lips and vice versa. I mean, it's all the face. Sometimes the rosacea bumps get on my lips. It's just crazy. It's annoying. Although this looks really dark. Hmm. <laughs> Darker brown than I normally like on my lips, but we're gonna go with it. Okay, this is the NARS lipstick. The shade is Voyeur, Voyeur 201. Here we go. Never used this before. Ooh, ooh. ooh this is more sheer. Oh, hell no. Hold on. <laughs> it's rub. Oh, God. Oh, no. This is sheer. What is this? Oh. Afterglow Sensual Shine Lipstick. Dang it. You know, I like full coverage lips. Oh, man. Okay. Well, mm, it looks like a gloss on me, and I want it to completely shade in my lips. Okay. Well, this is not going to work for today. I'm going to go over this with something 
with more pigment because I need I, I just need the whole thing to be covered now the question is does do these products still exist because I grabbed a few and you know a lot of times this stuff is sold you know discontinued God knows what this is book some plumping lip matte oh it's a matte crap okay I'm putting a matte on top of a a satin okay so we're doing that to get off the majority of the lip to crap this is darker than I wanted it's a pretty color <laughs> ah mm. okay it's pretty it's just it went on so dark which I was like what now it is playing with me because my eyes are purple, but no, but so I wanted a pinky lip, a pink undertone lip, but this will just have to do because we're already here and I gotta go. I can still see my lip. Cause I either want all or nothing. Okay, is this gonna dry now though? Dang it. Okay, I have a gloss in the car. Uh, okay, I, I, I don't have time. I gotta take it. I gotta take it as it is. I'm just not a fan of the combo. The purple eye with a cream. No. Anyway, okay, we gotta go. Oh no. Oh, dang it, I should have had an XL. Oh, oh my god. This is not what I wanted. I wanted this to be just straight. Oh my gosh, who has time to change? I have to go. Oh. oh, I mean, maybe I can make this work. God, I knew I should have gotten an XL. I'm so irritated. Because of my hip to waist ratio, I like when my pants go straight down. I don't want big, tight, big, because then it gives pregnant. Jeez, Louise. These are from Zara. I got them in New York. But then in some odd way, although these are real high, real high waisted, in some odd way it looks fine. I already took the freaking tag off. I mean, I'm wearing it today. God, I'm not happy. Maybe this will stretch as I wear it. Oh, I hope so. You've been so good to me. Faithful God, you've been so good, you've been so kind. King of all kings, Lord of all us. Yo, get you a good hair perfume. This one by Jizu is so good. Honey infused, so my hair's not gonna feel dry. And my hair gonna smell mad good. These pants are gonna piss me off. I don't have much of a choice right now. I don't have time to think about something else to put on me. It's not terrible, it's just not what I prefer. I'm actually gonna take Eucerin Intensive Repair to put on my neck because I have a feeling that it's gonna get dry in a little bit. I worship you. And this is so this is so good to just touch up the hands too. Oh, I am loving my nails. Let me tell you something about it. And these earrings, listen, I'm not dressing up for where I'm going. I'm dressing up for myself, okay? Let's remember that. These earrings are what? These are Amazon, I think. Throw these bad boys on, you feel me? Oh, it's doing something. This show is doing something, okay? Put the stack on, which is so crazy. When you lose weight, this stuff be all loosey-goosey, but it'll do what it's gotta do. All right, I did my hair perfume, and I've been liking vanilla oodgasm. What should I do? because of what I have right here. Mind you, I already sprayed something on while I was doing makeup. Now I have my clothes on, so it's different, you feel me? It's a whole different vibe. This is Kiali Vanilla Oud. Mm, 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 mm. My face is so broken out, I just realized it. And it makes sense because right here is so itchy. Well, this is what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen. 
and then I'll take my nail and just poke, poke, poke when I have on makeup. Oh, that hurt. But let me tell you, when I wash my face, I'm going to scratch. I, I, I did my treatment yesterday. I mean, listen, I, I can't ever pinpoint what causes the breakouts, except it's just chronic, and I don't know. Because I did my treatment yesterday, so why am I broken out today? Only God knows. I can't even tell you that. I would think that doing the treatment, who knows? Anyway, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna try to figure it out. Uh, and this is the thing, because I do my treatments every other night, because I was feeling at some point, I got a white hair right here, that it was too harsh. I, when I have a breakout, a full-fledged breakout, I'd be feeling like, mm -mm, I wanna do a treatment again tonight. But then I don't be wanting it to be too harsh on me. But believe you and me, I'm going to do my treatment again tonight. Let's walk through it in case you don't know what I do for rosacea because I don't want to do with this. I don't want to do with this. It's itchy and it's annoying and then it gets pustule. It gets pusty. Pussy. It'd be all. It's just too much. So yeah, I'm going to do my treatment again tonight. Screw that. Look at my cheeks. And it's not, it's not ever confined to one general area. It, look, it's cheeks, chin, even a little bit of my nose, honey. And even a little bit above my lip. See, from earlier, I said I had some rashes. See, it actually was starting earlier. That is how it happens. It's cre it creeps up. So earlier when I was with my lip liner, I noted that I had some rashes here and here. And I thought, what in the world? Not my rotation on my lips. And then I was gone all day, just got back, and I'm now looking in the mirror. I had no clue that I had broken out so much. I just not realized it. So, yeah, we're going to treat this. And that's how it be, yo. I, I might feel a little tingly, but I don't look in the mirror all day. I just be going. And I just look and I'm like, what the hell? So people who saw me today must have been like, ooh, I wonder what's going on with her face. Well, I have a chronic skin condition called rosacea. And I'm like, yes. Because I'm so dedicated to my flossing, I floss after every meal. Because leaving my teeth to have food in it bothers me. So stinking bad, I can't deal with it. So I already floss, just letting you know, so you don't think, oh, she don't floss every day. Oh, no, ma'am, I sure do. I floss several times a day. And then I'm going to brush my teeth right now. I love my nails. Have I said that? Ooh, these nails look so good. Let me say that right now. Listen, we're going to get the very bottom of this toothpaste, too. Colgate whitening. I need to whiten again. You may not realize, but I know it can be better. Look, this is my white nail. Well, maybe this the camera is color correcting something, but mm, it needs to be white and tiny. If you're using an electric toothbrush, which you should because it's the best way to clean your teeth, according to my dentist, make sure that you're putting the toothbrush around each tooth. So we're so used to the manual toothbrush where we're doing all of this and all of this and all of this. You don't do that with, with an electric toothbrush, okay? You put it around each tooth very slowly. And I was actually told one second or two, two seconds per tooth, okay? You're going around it because it's already spinning. How many spins per second? Only God knows. So you yourself don't need to be doing this with an electric toothbrush. It just it doesn't make any sense. You're not going to let it do what it's supposed to do, which is powerfully spin and get off all of the plaque and stains on our teeth okay make sure you're doing that make sure you flush your teeth too and go ahead and grab you the colgate advanced whitening y'all love the whiteness of my teeth and i mean i praise god i need to whiten again i just don't be feeling like sitting around and doing it but i have to do that the second thing i wanted to say oh and here's my mouthwash you know i swear by this is that I've started my nighttime routine earlier in the day because what will happen is when it gets late, I'm just too tired because I normally wake up by five, six, sometimes four, three, it depends. By the time nighttime comes around, I'm so freaking tired. And then the idea of doing all of this stuff is such a turnoff to me. So I've just said to myself, once I finished eating for the day, because I do fast and I like to finish eating by six-ish, you feel me? Once I finish doing that, let's just brush and get our 
pajamas and just do the whole thing so that when I start getting sleepy, I mean, I'm already am, let's be honest, I already am sleepy by 5 o'clock p.m., okay? But once I start getting really sleepy, then I don't have to do all of this because it's the worst thing to be so tired and be like, oh my God, now I have to do 16 steps. It's annoying. So it's 621 and I'm doing all of this now just because I want to finish it up. Oh, and you might notice my clock said 000. It's because I got unplugged. It is 621, okay? <laughs> Sometimes I'll do my skincare at the sink, but to be honest, I like doing it in the shower. I'm going to bathroom. In the shower because of all the mess. I mean, hello. Yeah, you can do the little wrist things. Well, come on. Unless I'm filming my skincare takedown, I'm doing it. That just made my, my throat go in. I'm doing it. See how itchy my neck is? Oh, bless God. I'm doing it in the shower. That's just normally what I do. Thankfully, you don't see any dryness, but I just feel so freaking itchy. And the neck is the worst place to be itchy because the skin is so thin. And you be having signs of aging, the sagginess, and the blah, blah. But I be having signs of dryness, baby. It be, it be the eczema patches. And in my chest be flaring out. You see a little bit here. Yo, I have some referrals for LASIK. Oh, they were my to-do list. Each day just be far too long. I say this because... I just need to set up a, I have a lash hanging down, a consultation to get this LASIK done because I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of this whole routine right here. This, I'm tired of it. Like, hello? And I'm ready to just move on. What would be now? I want to get that done. Man, if I don't have an astigmatism, which I don't think I have, because my contacts don't have, they're not contacts with astigmatism, you feel me? And I know that with that, it could be an issue. I'm going to do the consultation and see what I'm going, oh, then again, it's like, how much is it? $3,000? And then they say I gotta get a business line. Mm. I'm so tired. First there's a business line now and I'm really sick and then what else? <laughs> Can y'all leave me alone? Good lord. Okay. No, the 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 sick is my choice. It's not a requirement. The business line that I see, the I see that I need to do it. You know what I mean? During Fashion Week, I went to the event with KG and Bobby Brown, and in the gift bag, they gave us a bunch of things, one of which was this cleansing soothing cleansing oil and i enjoy it it looks so liquidy which is different because usually cleansing oils are a lot thicker but then this reminds me of the dermalogica one it's called a pre-cleanse because that one is runny like this so we're going to do this and we're going to do this we're going to melt it down i used to think that this was such a waste of time because it was so messy but honey this actually saves time. Yes, it's still messy because you're breaking things down and not having to use your cleanser 75 times. Because to me, if you're not using a cleansing oil to break down your makeup, then you need to wash your face three times. I mean, come on. What? You're not going to get all of it off at one time? Like, what the heck? No. Whereas once I rinse this and then wash my face, I could do one wash. If I felt like it and I had time. I could do a second one, but it won't be necessary. You feel what I'm saying? And I focus here on the eyes because, of course, I have eyeliner on. And that's why I take my contacts off first. Can you imagine doing this with a girl? Ooh, talk about <laughs> brownie, brownie sauce on your contacts. That's not going to work. I'm going to give you an eye infection, girl. I can't do it. I cannot do it. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. We're not going to be doing another thing. Oh, have you seen my wrist? My wrist. It's not a wrist bracelet, but it's a bracelet for God's sake. Have you seen it? It's so cute. Monica Panetta. My friend gave it to me. It's a friendship bracelet. It's the cutest. I like it. It did take some getting used to because of how dangly it is. I like it though. I like it a lot. Not sure if you've noticed this, but with the eye makeup, there will be a film, usually, inside the eyes. So what I do is bend this open, and then I take my finger this way and then grab whatever might be right under there because there have been times where right underneath here is some, oop, I just got it. I literally just got it. Do you wanna see? Right there, that slimy gunk thing. You gotta get that out, it's gross. Cause if not, you'll just be around and be like seeing some long thing on your eyeball and it's that goopy grossness. So I always do that when I wash my face. So now I have rinsed off everything. You might think my skin looks clean. It's just rinsing things off. I do go into my hairline cause you know we filled it in. No, I don't want that on my pillowcases. Like hello, excuse me. And then we're gonna do the superfood kale and green tea face wash, right? 
yeah cleanser face wash same thing okay let's get the hand sudsy one thing too with this breakout is look at first of all middle of my face is red uh, with the breakout my water has to be more on the cool side because my skin is irritated Ooh, feels so rough right here it's just bumpy and then of course with the breakout no exfoliation although the thing is my treatment ugh, I got my, mouth. my treatment has tretinoin in it which exfoliates but formulated it all together for me to use for my my rosacea so it's all good so with this not too much rubbing is needed because i got off so much of the makeup i mean all of it really and then of course i wipe into my hair because there's some left over because of the way i drag it in and I don't wash my hair before bed. It's just too much of a wet situation. Not gonna happen. So I just wipe off my hairline like this. And then I do put some sort of oil on my hairline. Cause hello, <laughs> we got work to do. <laughs> Ooh, my chin looks like it needs some purging. I mean, you only go like this. And you see those little, little, little white bumps? It just needs to be purged. However, we're gonna deal with one thing at a time right now since I have this breakout. I'm not about to come here and be <laughs> attacking my chin when my whole face is having a problem. So let me get my stuff before I pat my face, okay? The thing about my prescription, I'm using Curology, is that it is very strong, very potent, okay, in the best way. I don't want my face to be wet while I apply it because that increases the penetration of any product. So if you have dry skin, you want to apply your moisturizer onto your skin while it's damp. I sometimes apply, well, I mean, I even apply in the shower itself, oil onto my soaking wet skin, so that's number one. But you want to apply your moisturizer onto your skin when it's damp. So out of the shower, I'll just pat, pat, pat quickly, and then I will go directly into my body moisturizer. But now for the face, I do not want to do that with my prescription because excuse me first of all this is bobby brown vitamin rich vitamin enriched eye base i do not want to do that with my medicine what oh, i'm really gonna be feeling it are you kidding me i took too much i'm really gonna be feeling it and i already feel i mean my those rashes already feel raw they just feel yeah they feel raw they feel like there's some pus coming out of them which is normally what happens heck no i mean so and actually, as I stand here and talk to you, my face is drying up. You see some moisture there. But if you have dry skin, leave it like that and then go with your moisturizer. My, my lips are all dry. Bless God. Okay. <laughs> now my lips are all dry. Me trying to talk to you. I cannot do that. Excuse me. So my prescription has zinc, pyrethrin. Wow. Hi. Zinc pyrethion 0.25, clindamycin 1% and niacinamide 4%. Okay. So my skin is based almost dry at this point. And you're supposed to do one pump. Although uh, a while back I was doing two pumps, yo. I won't even lie to you. This stuff is potent. Okay. When it's prescribed, oh, it's going to get you where you got to go. Okay. So, okay, good. That's a good full pump. Sometimes the one pump don't be doing enough. And then I will go in with two. This stuff is very strong. I feel like it wasn't enough. It's strong. Let's start here. And I'll go here. I gotta be careful because of my microblading brows. This will fade the pigment of the microblading because it exfoliates the the tretinoin exfoliates. Oh wait, there is no tretinoin in this one. Hold on. Okay, so I've had this. I've had this concoction for ages, and sometimes I've got tretinoin in my mix, and now I have zinc pyrithione in my mix. Interesting. Because I've had glutamine, I've had niacinamide. She gave me zinc pyrithione, and I can't recall why she changed it. Okay. She meaning the, the, the nurse practitioner who prescribes it. So they, they set you up with a provider, a derm provider, and they look at pictures of your skin when it's having an issue, and then they ask you questions, and then they give you a prescription. So she's the one I'm referring to, and then they do checkups. You have to send in pictures for updates and stuff. But me, my, my joint's chronic, okay? So there ain't no update. <laughs> Some days is good and some days ain't. <laughs> you know, thank God during fashion week it was good. Ooh. I mean, if it wasn't, it would be what it is. I'm not. I don't. I don't hide. If I have a breakout and I have somewhere to go, we're gonna do a full face makeup. I'm gonna go. You feel me? We're gonna just be there, and you're gonna be looking at me, wondering questions, but you're never gonna ask. And so we're gonna just talk. It, I just it is what it is. Okay, Vaseline is a sealant. Okay, 
it seals things in. So one might think, oh man, this is going to increase the penetration of the product, perhaps. But what I need it to do is keep my skin hydrated because, or excuse me, keep my skin moisturized because it is so dry. Okay, especially my neck. And this product does make my skin feel dry, the treatment. So I've been doing Vaseline for the ultimate for ultimate moisture retention when I do my, my treatment. And I do this every other day, but as you can see, I did this now two days in a row because I have a breakout and I don't want to deal with it. If, if, I'm not, if I don't have anywhere to go, I'll give that space in between. But I just don't feel like dealing with this right now. And I do believe that some people can tolerate doing this treatment every night. That's also what I would say. I don't believe I can. I haven't tried it because I'm nervous because this is so strong. Because there have been times where I've done it, maybe back to back, or maybe I put too many, too many pumps, overzealous. And I just felt like my skin was so raw in some places because it is pretty serious. I mean, it works. It's, it's prescription grade, you feel me? So I was like, oh, I can't do this every day. What in the world? And then, you know, I'll be trying different products out. So if I do this, it gets in the way of so many things. So I was just like, mm, we do every other. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do right there. I did my head, excuse me. I did my face and my neck. I am going to shower and just focus on everywhere else, not wash my neck because I just put Vaseline on it and I need that to stay. And Vaseline is so occlusive that you can literally get wet and then water will just run right off. Because in the summertime, one time, I was in a pool, and it's obviously hot outside, and I kept feeling, I kept burning right here. And I later realized, I'm also feeling dry right here. So it was an issue because my skin barrier was disrupted, and I was dry, and I was scratching from eczema. And then the sun was burning my arm, and then the chlorine from the water was burning my arm. So what I did the next time I had gone to the pool is put Vaseline all over my body, and I had no issues. Vaseline is a skin protectant, baby. The water will roll, it will, it will roll right off of your skin. Ooh. Using these resurfacing pads to kill any odor causing bacteria, of course. Then I do wipe my armpit dry. I don't just leave the product on there. And for body cream tonight, we're gonna do Vaseline Radiant. Check out today's outfit though. This is what I want to go have lunch with Nini and I like it. I bought this top a long time ago and I'm just now putting it on. It's a size large and of course it's tied right here. You feel me? And I actually like that it's oversized. I don't need everything to be smashing me up. And then these jeans are, what are they? Are they a 1XL from Shein? I can't remember. And I like how these are loose on me. Are these boyfriend? I don't know. I also like how it crosses over like so. You feel me? The non-traditional waist situation. I like that. Not everything needs to be so freaking tight on me. You know, I'll get to the money after a while. Remember the days when everything was tight? Oh, and now I just want to live. Don't, don't be yoking me up. Okay, I have some e 10 emails to look at. And I have a meeting at 2 o'clock with my financial planner. I'm so irritated and turned off by all of the spam that comes from TikTok. You wanna tag something from TikTok shop that you're using so that you can create, you can get commission, but somehow that has turned into all of this spam. I hate it. I'm not a TikTok shop creator per se. It's just, if I can link it and make it easier for you to buy, I'm gonna link it. But I'm getting all of these emails as if I am a TikTok shop. That's a tick tongue twister for me. TikTok shop creator and it's irritating me. Printing right now a a, a whole deck essentially because I have this amazing project coming up that I'm excited about. It's next week where I'm going to be filming essentially like, like a model. I'm talent for this project, which I think is fantastic. So I started printing things out because leaving it all digital, sometimes it's just, it's just a no for me. So I got this 
half ring binder from Amazon and then I printed this this is my logo or one of the iterations of it and then I put down campaign briefs because I'm putting in here only campaign briefs and then I've got them all with some tabs written down here and I printed and put my information in there so I'm printing a new version of this deck so that I have it and can you imagine I have a script that I need to memorize this is so exciting ah! and I don't know specifically where this project will be featured outside of social so you may or may not come across it okay and when you do shout your girl out I should have curled this I'll be feeling like curling stuff all the time oh what time is it okay I got five minutes for my meeting I'll be feeling like curling stuff all the time anyway anyway I'm excited about that oh yo what's wrong with my why is the ink looking like that that is irritating ooh, 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 ooh. y'all okay Y'all all right? <laughs> yeah, I told you a while ago that having a printer just feels so funny to me. It feels like I'm in college. I like it. I like the sound of it, okay? Go ahead and print my creative brief. Brief, okay? Press the Lord. Nothing can stand in your way. Not away. Even God, even God. Even God, even God. And I got me a... Uh, Freaking three hole punch up, three hole ring, what? Three hole, oh jeez, three ring bind up punch up. Let me just show it to you because I'm so annoyed. This, this makes me feel so legit. Can you imagine? Years ago, I had all of these things and then I went through a phase where I didn't want it anymore and I got rid of it. I donated, donated it and now here I am, I bought it again. I'm so annoyed. Office supplies, if anything, not to buy it. So when this finishes, I will three hole punch everything. And let me log into where I gotta go for this meeting. Happy Friday. Not a problem. Your staff is up 20%. All of your, your four different accounts are up between 7 and 8%. I okay. mean, that's pretty amazing. Okay, good. Right, we work, work, work not even 60 days in the year. The meeting went well with my financial advisor, as you heard a little bit of, and then I had another meeting with my manager. In case you're wondering, I don't need to wear this belly button plug anymore, but I do choose to wear it from time to time because, okay, so the reason why I don't need to wear it anymore is because whatever my belly button is at, whatever the shape is, is going to stay. It's not going to squeeze and get compressed and any of that stuff. However, I do be feeling like it's too small sometimes. I do be feeling like the hole is too small for me. So I put it in from time to time. I don't feel it. I'm still numb. It doesn't, it feels like nothing. So that's what you're seeing right now. It's just rubber. I am due to give you all, see, like even this, it's opened up more than it was this morning. And what I love about my belly button is that it's not as dark, praise God. So I can see my skin tone on the inside. Whereas before it was dark, it just looked like a black hole. So I'm proud of how far it's coming along. And I am due to give you all a one-year update, even though it's now 14 months. But girl, I still, I still got to update y'all. So we'll do that. All right. This is my tripod that I use on travel. It's literally called the Sunpack Travel Light Pro. You saw it in my New York vlog. And then I open it up at home to use for my R6. This is an R6. I get confused because it's an R5. There's an R8. So I'd be like, do I have an R5 or an R6? I have an R6. So here's my R6 that I use. And then I have the Canon 35mm lens, okay? And I use this tripod only for this camera because I have the shoe on it at the bottom. And what's irritating is constantly taking changing these to fit different tripods. Now, there are universal shoes that you can get so that every camera can go on every tripod. But I only discovered that recently and I already did this. And it's fine because this is my travel tech setup. I like having different things, it works for me. So I have this, which is part of a set. Part of that set is at the shooting setup that is in my formal dining area, okay? Because this came with, I believe, three different, yeah, three different, what you call it? Three different tripods, or what do you call it? Boom arms, uh-huh. And I don't need all three over there. So I'm using this one for travel and I'm putting my mic on it. The mic that I used in New York, it wasn't loud enough. 
But then when I went to do it again, okay, so inside the camera, I'm trying to talk slowly so you don't get confused. Inside the camera, even on this one and on this one, you can alter the audio input level, okay? Let me give you an example. So you go to menu. I'm going to show you in a second. Oh, I got to put it in video. Okay, got to go in video mode first. Hello. All righty. So when it's in video mode up here, then you'll see audio. What does it say? sound recording okay and then you can see it's manual and then recording level so i had an external mic on a mic that i don't use often and i hadn't come and changed this and on that mic i could not change the audio recording level so i filmed the video and in editing i cranked up the audio as much as i could and i was not satisfied with how loud the audio was it was just too low for me so i was like dang it okay now i know for next time and then the next day what i did was i made sure that i turned this audio recording up and then I used that mic because on that mic, I cannot crank up or down the audio recording level and it was fine. But I honestly was like, you know what? I ain't got time to be finagling this. I gotta use the mic that I'm used to. So I returned to that mic and purchased another Rode Video Mic Pro. I have three of these now, okay? Cause I don't wanna, I also don't want to have to be taking mics off of tripods. I need everything to stay where it is. I don't like to have to move this 17 places in the house. It bothers me. So I got this mic specifically for travel so that this system, literally I break it down, I put in my carry-on and it goes with me when I travel. I just love it. I have, I have a remote for this and everything, okay? Love this camera because I've got three different lenses. I have this, this is a 35, which is great. It's a nice standard prime lens. I have a 50, very focused in 1.4 blur, which is great. And then I have a 20, is it 28? Yeah, 28, I believe is my new one. Love that. Use that to show more of me when doing vertical, but I can also use that for, for the YouTube. Oh hungry. I need to eat again. I'm starving. I have not eaten enough today. Okay. So the audio recording level is set in the middle. Okay. However, depending on the mic you're using, like I said, the other one, I went and I cranked this up more to the right. What you'll see is the internal mic is there, but it's not very loud. So test, 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 test. Okay. That's how you see how far the audio recording levels are moving. And that'll tell you if you're too loud or too low. Okay. Test, test, test. Oh, what happened? Okay. This is actually too low. So I'm going to come in here and put it back to test, 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 putting it back to middle test, test, test. And you don't want it to pass that 12 because then you'll see it's, it'll be in red, which means your audio is too loud. And even if your audio is too loud in post, when you're editing, when you try to lower it down, it can still just sound distorted and stupid. I like for my quality to be as pristine as possible. I'm not happy when the quality is for any reason, whether it's lighting, sharpness, or color, or audio. When any of that stuff is off, I feel so turned off. I just can't stand it. So I put it back to middle because now I'm using the mic that I'm accustomed to. So I know that it's not going to be an issue. But I, like I said, I had to change it for that other mic. Anyway, okay, back to where back to square one. So with this, the this part is too small to fit into this part of the mic. So I purchased an do you call this an adapter perhaps and it's going okay there's a whole bunch of them i'm gonna link all this below in case you want to build up your kit and i have it all saved on, on lck too so what i do is find the one that fits in between this boom and the mic essentially because right now it's not gonna fit and i'll be knowing if it's male to female quarter to 818 to 38 mm -mm. I don't be knowing all of that. I just, oh, this is it. I just, oh, hold on. okay, this one fits, but it's, it needs to go in that. Oh, I can connect. Oh, it is what I need. I can take two and connect them. Stop. Does this fit in here? Okay, this one doesn't fit. Let me find the one that fits. Oh, yes. Okay, so this one fits. I just keep twisting until I figure out which one fits. Okay, boom. And then we're going to take a bottom. Oh, perfect. This one fits right here. Oh, yep. 
Oh yeah, because I've had other other adapters where it's just one piece. This was two. If it works, that's all that matters to me. And then look, twist it around. Now we're in business, baby. And with this microphone, it you turn it. Okay, this is battery powered. I've had to get used to it. I've been used to it for years now, so I remember to turn my mic on. The other one that I returned did not need to be powered on or off. This one needs to be powered on. This is where you'll have creators saying, oh my God, I recorded a whole video, my mic wasn't on. This is the kind of thing, and it is a, a pain in the rear end. <sighs> but I've gotten into the practice of making sure that my mic is on. Wow, okay? So when it's on, it's green. Where are we at? Okay, when it's on, it's green and off. So it can go, I don't know how to describe it, but it can go on where it's not very loud. Like it's not picking up a lot of audio. Or maybe it is, and then either way, I, I use I go to the far right. Okay, I don't know what exactly that means, but I've just learned in post, which is in editing, that I prefer the sound here because I'm normally very close to my mic, and I might exclaim, I might speak, and then the p might be too high when I'm editing. It might be too loud, too high. So I go to the far right. Okay, just just know that. Okay, to the far right, and then even here the decibels, you can keep it at zero, which is where I keep it. Or you can go to negative 10 or plus 20 if it's too low or too loud. I just keep it at zero, okay? So get your audio together because messed up audio is a pain. So let's clean these extras up and I'm going to hang on to them because these little adapters be coming in handy. They be coming in handy. I mean, I, I have so much tech that I've acquired over the years. It's wild. I mean, stuff that I know I don't need, but I have. And it's like, what do I do with this? Donate it, maybe. I had to donate them. So many things, batteries, cords, adapters, just stuff accumulated over the years from things that I've had in the past that I just keep it because it's here. What? It's too much. Okay, then I got this extension cord because look at the distance between the mic and my camera. Too short, okay? Or too long to fit the cord that comes on the mic. Therefore, I have this extension and you can get this, I think, is, is this six feet? They don't look like it. Hold on. What is this? They don't look like six feet, but whatever. You can get 20, all kind of stuff. In case you want to do a boom, you want to boom the mic over your head. That's a possibility. And then so that it's not so, I guess, it just hanging everywhere. I'll wrap it around something usually like this. So wrapping it around this part of the cord, this part of the, yeah, the, of the boom pole. And because I, I just can't stand foolishness, okay? And then you just go ahead and pop your, your your camera onto the tripod like so. And then I, whenever I'm recording, I will just have this in my face. Mic always turned on, very important. This could possibly go around the neck. Oh, excuse me. Oh my God. This could possibly, I could move this to the neck of the mic if I wanted to. So it just depends on how I have the tripod. Is it on the ground? Is it on the table? And how far is my camera? How far is the mic from my mouth? You feel me? And then here we are. Of course, I would color grade this. It looks far too blue from recording or using my remote to take pictures. Oh, <laughs> of course I have to plug in the mic. Hello. Let me tie this because it is... Okay. Maybe not tie it, just go like this. Okay, boom, right? And then you plug the mic into the camera. Make sure it's plugged in, because honey, I've, I've had that too where it wasn't plugged in correctly, okay? And then you could be recording and then you have your mic. Yes, love it. The mic can go here too. You can actually do that. Yeah, anyway, yeah. So that is the setup that just came in. So I'm excited about that.